بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو دا چینل ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن ایکٹیو اینڈ پیسو وائس دس از دا لیکچر نمبر ون ان ڈفرنٹ لیکچرس وی ول لرن آل دا ٹینسز دیٹ وی یوز ان دا ایکٹیو اینڈ پیسو وائس سو ٹوڈے ان لیکچر ون وی ول جسٹ ٹرائی ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ وٹ از این ایکٹیو وائس اینڈ وٹ از پیسو وائس سو ان دس لیکچر یو ول لرن دا ڈیفینیشن آف ایکٹیو اینڈ پیسو وائس some examples and some newspaper clips will be shown to understand the active and passive voice so when we define uh, active voice we say that when the subject in a sentence shows action or performs some action such sentence is called active voice so humne dekha ke ایکٹیو وائز کیا ہے کچھ چیزیں ہیں جو امپورٹنٹ ہیں وی نیڈ ٹو فوکس آن دیم اینڈ اسپیشلی از دا سبجیکٹ شوز این ایکشن اور پرفارم سم ایکشن ان اے سینٹینس از کارڈ دا ایکٹیو وائز مینس کہ جب سبجیکٹ یعنی کام کرنے والا جس کو ہم اردو میں فائل بھی بولتے ہیں ہی از شوئنگ سم ایکٹیویٹی ہی از ڈوئنگ سم ایکٹیویٹی اینڈ ہی از ایکٹیو ان دا سینٹینس آسانی کے لیے میں کہوں گا کہ جو جب کام کرنے والا ایکٹیو ہے ہی از ڈوئنگ ورک ہم سیلف وہ خود کوئی ایکٹیویٹی پرفارم کر رہا ہے دین دا سینٹینس از کالڈ ایکٹیو وائس سو ان ادر ورڈس وی کین سی دیٹ دا سبجیکٹ از ایکٹیو ان دا ان دس سینٹینس وی کین سی دیٹ دا سبجیکٹ از ایکٹیو ان دس سینٹینس تو یہ ایسا سینٹینس ہوگا جس میں سبجیکٹ جو ہے وہ ایکٹیو رہے گا مینس ہی از ڈوئنگ ایک سم ایکٹیویٹیز اوکے وی گو تھرو سم ایگزامپلس لائک دا گورمنٹ الاؤز دا بزنس مین ٹو امپورٹ نیو کارس دا گورمنٹ دس از دا سبجیکٹ الاؤز از دا ورب دا بزنس مین از دا آبجیکٹ and new cars is the indirect object so there are two objects here but we have to focus on three things subject verb and direct object ye teen cheeze aapko active se passive sentences banane mein kaam aayengi so the government allows the businessman this is the uh, active voice because the government is doing some action or the government is active in this sentence We go to the next example. Ali invites his friend on the birthday. Ali is the subject. Invites is the verb. And his friend is the object. So Ali is active. He is inviting his friend uh, on his birthday. Go to the third example. We play different games during recess at school. So the man... things that we are required to understand the subject which is we play is the verb in different games this is the object of this sentence and the subject is also active he is showing some activity in this sentence so these are different examples of active voice now we try to understand what is passive voice so the sentence in which the subject does not perform action the subject does not perform action but action is done to the subject is called passive voice to understand karne ki zarurat hai passive voice mein subject khud to kaam nahi kar raha hota lekin wo kaam karne ka sabab ban raha hota hai ya usse kaam liya ja raha hota hai in other words we can say that the subject becomes passive this is important to know اسی لیے ہم اس کو پیسو وائز بولتے ہیں کہ یہاں سبجیکٹ پیسو ہو جاتا ہے پیسو مین ہی از ہی ایز بیکم لیزی ہی از ناٹ ڈوئنگ سم تھنگ بٹ سم تھنگ از ڈن ٹو ہیم آر ہر سو پیسو ان دس ٹائپ آف سینٹینس اور دا سبجیکٹ از ناٹ مینشن ان دیز سینٹینس دس انادر امپورٹنٹ پوائنٹ ٹو نوٹ دا سبجیکٹ از ناٹ مینشن سم ٹائمز ان دا پیسو وائز ریئل لائف سچویشنس میں جو پیسو وائز یوز ہوتے ہیں ریئر کیسز میں آپ کو وہاں سبجیکٹ دکھائی دے گا جو بائے کے بعد یوز کیا جاتا ہے بٹ ان نیوز پیپرز ان کنورسیشن ریئل لائف سچویشنس وی آفن ڈو ناٹ یوز سبجیکٹ ان دا پیسو وائز 
so we take some examples the light the bank has been robbed the bank has been robbed the bank object tha yahan bhi object hi hai because the bank is not doing some action but the the action is doing something on the bank the bank has been robbed isko hum kehte hain bank mein dikhti ho gayi aur isi tarah ki news aap dekhte hain so the question is who has robbed the robbers so robbers has not mentioned here robbers is the subject of this sentence or some uh, we can also say someone has robbed the bank but someone or robber as a subject not mentioned in the passive voice so these type of sentences are mentioned or used in the newspapers whenever we uh, read uh, or whenever we use a passive in real life situation okay this is the passive voice another example the doors are locked at 9 pm the doors are locked at 9 pm ab dekh sakte hain upar bhi humne has been aur third form use ki hai has been ke sath third form active voice mein kahin bhi aapko nazar nahi aayegi yahan pe aap use kar rahe hain present tense mein are and locked are locked active voice mein kahin nahi use hota ye sirf passive voice mein is am are ke sath third form use karte hain The doors are locked at 9 p.m. The question is, who locks the door? जो lock करने वाला है, he is the subject. So subject is missing here. The school gate is opened at 7 a.m. School का gate सात बजे खोला जाता है. Who opens the gate? Not mentioned here. So this is the real life situation in which we use the passive voice. Ali was invited by his friend on his birthday. So these type of sentences sometimes we speak and often we see these types of sentences in our textbook or in our grammar grammar translation books taaki hum english ko is tarah understand kar sake apni language mein so these these type of sentences are used ali was invited by his friend to so, subject friend tha jisko humne object ke taur par use kiya hai yahan pe aur jo ali tha wo in re in uh, active voice it was the uh object so his active voice hai his friend invited ali okay on his birthday the next example is we are called by the teacher to conduct science experiments we are called by the teacher so we are called by the teacher this is the passive voice और हम अब देख सकते हैं आर के साथ थर्फाम यूज़ किया है बाय का वर्ड यूज़ किया और उसके बाद जो आपका ऑब्जेक्ट था जो सब्जेक्ट था उसको ऑब्जेक्ट की जगह रिप्लेस कर दिया गया नाउ वी गो थ्रू सम न्यूज़पेपर क्लिप्स इट इज़ अ न्यूज़पेपर हाई कोर्ट स्टेज अपॉइंटमेंट्स ऑफ द वी सी टू ट्वेल्व पब्लिक सेक्टर यूनिवर्सिटीज हाई कोर्ट सब्जेक्ट है स्टेज वर्ब है और अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ वी सीज दिस इज द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ दिस सेंटेंस सो दिस इज जब सब्जेक्ट एक्टिव है काम कर रहा है सो दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एक्टिव वाइज सो वी सी द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पेस वाइज इन दन द सेम पेज मैन सन अमंग थ्री किल्ड ओवर एनमिटी इन बटखेला मैन सन अमंग थ्री killed over enmity so who killed these persons these people not mentioned here so such a sentence in which subject is missing an object is there and we are using third form of the verb so this is called the passive voice we see more examples like fire destroys historic philippine post ऑफिस पोस्ट ऑफिस बिल्डिंग फायर सब्जेक्ट है डिस्ट्रॉयज वर्ब है हिस्टोरिक फिलपाइन पोस्ट ऑफिस इज द ऑब्जेक्ट सो फायर इज शोइंग डूइंग सम एक्शन हेयर इट इज एक्टिव दैट इज वाई इट इज एक्टिव वाइज नॉट द पैसिव वाइज सो अनदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पैसिव वाइज ऑन द सेम पेज Taiwan excluded from WHO annual assembly. Taiwan excluded from WHO. Who excluded Taiwan? Not mentioned here. Subject नहीं है. किसने Taiwan को exclude किया? 
सिर्फ हमारे पास ऑब्जेक्ट है और उसके साथ थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब गिवन है सो दीज टाइप ऑफ पैसे वाइज आर यूज इन द न्यूज पेपर एंड रियल लाइफ सिचुएशन एज वेल अनदर एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम अ न्यूज पेपर सस्पेक्ट किल्ड पोलिस मैन इंजर्ड इन कैपिटल सस्पेक्ट किल्ड हु किल्ड सस्पेक्ट नो वन नोज पोलिस मैन इंजर्ड हु इंजर्ड द पोलिस मैन नॉट मैंशन द सेंटेंस सो दिस इज द पैसे वाइज another example from newspaper cda briefs cda briefs uh, pm on uplift project cda cda is the subject and brief is the verb and the first form and the pm is the object here so this is active voice islamabad reports 110 HIV cases. Islamabad is referring to some authorities. This is a subject. Report is a verb, and 110 HIV cases the object. So this is again active voice. These two are active voice. So we have done man son killed on the way to the court. And this is another example. man son killed on the way to the court again no one is mentioned who is killing or who is the subject in this sentence new head of the lahore police investigation wing posted new head of lahore police investigation this is this was basically the object posted a uh, new head has been posted kisne post kiya hai not mentioned here so this is another example of passive voice CDA plans to uh, construct 11th avenue so this is active voice ministry failed to prepare services who failed the ministry not mentioned here so this is the passive voice so this is the end of the lesson i hope uh, you have understood uh, the active and passive voice and the next lesson we will understand how to change the active voice of the present tense into passive voice i request you to subscribe this channel for the upcoming videos share to your friends and colleagues and like the video thank you so much allah hafiz